My name is Jared Leno. I'm with the 1854 Treaty Authority and I'm a level 2 watercraft inspector. What that means is we are capable of running this decontamination unit. Uh, so I'm going to run you through uh, how we actually use the unit and why we use the unit. Um, the only thing we're missing here today is typically at a boat landing we would have a set of mats out in this area here in which boats would pull onto. Uh, we do that because we want to catch all the water that's coming off that boat into that mat and we actually recycle it back into the unit. Um, and use it over again, it filters out anything that's in there that we don't want to get anywhere else. But it's all hot water and that's what kills everything. So, uh, if we find a boat that has been sitting in infested waters for a period of time and we want to do a decontamination on it, uh, we have that boat pull onto the mat. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll fire up the unit, we'll heat up the unit um, to about 140 degrees. Um, actually make that 120 degrees for the inside of the boat. And what we'll do is we have a, a pressure system here um, this is the first thing that we'll use is this low pressure wand. So this is typically you, you think of a decontamination unit as basically a pressure washer. But the first thing you want to do is actually use just plain hot water. This is just water coming out of here like a garden hose. Uh, you're not using any pressure to purse. It's not the pressure that kills the invasives, it's the hot water. Um, so that's a common misconception is people think they can just use a pressure washer to kill the invasives. But if it's not hot water, you're not killing anything. You'll knock them off your boat but they're still alive. Um, so the first thing we do is we want to do the inside of the boat. If there's standing water inside the boat, we spray down the live wells of hot water, we fill them up completely, do that with 120 degree water for two to four minutes. Um, and we make sure water coming out the, the draining system of the boat then is coming out at 120 degrees so we know we completely fill the boat with hot water for a period of time that will kill any villagers or anything else inside the boat. Uh, and once we complete the inside of the boat, we go along the outside of the boat, again with the low pressure wand, um, holding the wand, it's a lengthy process, holding the wand on all the spots that we think invasives, especially zebra mussels, are going to be, again, for 10 to 20 seconds at every spot, holding this 120 degree water at low pressure. We do that for the entire boat and the trailer. Uh, it's a lengthy process, so if you do have to do a contamination, you need to be prepared to actually wait a little while. Uh, again, it's the, it's the hot water that kills the invasives, not the pressure. So we go around first with the low pressure wand, killing all the invasives, and then we want to remove them. And removing them is, how we use, is why we use the, the high pressure wands, which I'll show you next here. So this simply comes off at this attachment here. So now we just have a gun, and we have various high pressure attachments here. This gun will go onto this unit then. And then we will go around the boat spraying off the invasives, especially the zebra mussels, at an angle so the pressure in the water is working almost like a knife, just scraping off those zebra mussels. Uh, we also can use, if it's a very bad situation, we'll even use simple you know, blades to scrape the boat off. And, and you can do that yourself as well. But remember, it's hot water that actually kills the invasives. Only pressure gets them off. Um, so we will again do the entire boat, uh, get everything off the boat, uh, in the trailer as well. Uh, we have several different attachments for this one actually goes under the boat. You can simply hook that under the gun. It has wheels. We can shove it under the boat to get the invasives off the bottom of the hull. Some of the boats it's, it's hard to get at the bottom with the simple pressure gun. I'll show you some of the other attachments we have here. Uh, this is called a fake link. Um, so some boats, uh, some of the bigger water skiing boats have um, ballast tanks and through hull fittings. We can slip this onto them and pump water uh, into the bilge systems um, and simply you know, fill that with hot water, kill anything that might be in there. Uh, we also have these, uh, uh, basically these go on the intake of an engine. Uh, these are basically clamps that go on the intake. We fill the engine with hot water so if there's anything inside the lower unit, uh, that will be killed. So we got here. For inspecting boats, we have various tools, a mirror with light on it so we can look underneath the boat, um, various protective equipment here. Remember, we are dealing with hot water. Uh, the other thing I didn't mention is, so uh, besides anything that's um, fragile, like around the motor, uh, the bilge, we use 120 degree water. Anything else that we're not worried about, we use 140 degree water. So it's really hot. You have to wear gloves. Um, you want to make sure you're wearing rain gear or something to keep from getting wet because it is really hot water. Um, that's what kills them. Uh, 
I guess that's about it. If you have any other questions. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>